Hi, I'm Pato Award, and I drive the number five Aero McLaren SP Chevrolet in the NTT IndyCar series. Today is January 14th, 2022. I currently have 296,000 followers on Instagram. My most liked picture is uh, this one from Abu Dhabi, where um, I think it shows the highlights overall in my year. I, uh, I won a race and the bet to win my first race was that I would get to to have a go into the Formula One car at the end of the year. So I think that uh, that explains and, and really highlights what, what was most special for me in my year. Hi, I'm Felix Rosenquist. I'm the driver for the number seven uh, Views Air McLaren SP Chevrolet in the NTT IndyCar series. Uh, today is the 14th of uh, January, 2022. I currently have 46,000 Instagram followers. My most liked picture is this one, uh, which is me and Caroline after my accident in Detroit. Uh, maybe not the most uh, fun moment, but uh, that's the one that had the most likes. So, I go to my home and I enjoy time with my family, with my dog, uh, and I stay really active. I enjoy doing sports that I don't really get to do during the year, which is maybe go go-karting and uh, play tennis here and there. Whenever you had a stressful period, it's like any other person you just want to spend time on the couch and you know binge watch something maybe for a day and video then, games yeah maybe a bit of video games playstation or pc um yeah just kind of decompress a bit and then you move on playing tennis it's something that i played when i was uh, a lot younger i never really got around to do it um, but i found myself really really bored because i got really used to being on the go and so intense during the season where I just had a really hard time just not doing anything. So I, uh, I, picked, I picked it back up and I played with my, with my cousins and it was really, really enjoyable. I did the first like full on sprint uh, for a very long time, probably since my school days. And I was competing against this, this guy. This guy's pretty fast actually. <laughs> and, uh, actually won. Uh, but yeah, that, that was like, I remember Days after we were like hurting from like yeah. one, like a 10 second effort. But the uh, day after that, we had to wake up at 3 a.m. to get a flight to the Never Eat Slimy yes. Worms West Coast. Uh, oh yeah, Portland. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was a hard recovery. <laughs> my father, my dad is the rock of my, uh, the rock of everything to be honest. Um, but he's definitely the person that I lean on in absolutely everything, whether it's personal, uh, whether it's business and, you know, whatever it might be, he's, uh, he's a really good uh, rock foundation to, to see both sides of an equation, not just one. My dad is probably the biggest uh, player in, you know, my life when it comes to decisions and uh, hard, you know, choices and stuff like that. Uh, but I, I, I say mostly I keep to like, if I have an issue in my racing life, I talk to my engineer and if I have a problem in my normal life, I talk to my dad or my girlfriend. So it's, it's kind of a mix. Absolutely not. I feel like a kid and uh, I want to I wanted to stay that way for the rest of my life because I feel like things are enjoyed most when when you're still young at heart and you you find uh, the little things in life very enjoyable. Um, so so yeah i i feel like i was i still feel like i'm 12 or 13 years old maybe a bit more knowledge but uh still a kid at heart for sure no i don't, I don't feel uh grown up to be honest uh i can barely like find where my own head is every morning so uh I, he doesn't I lose his head because he's attached to his body <laughs> <laughs> i still have a long ways to go but uh maybe one day we'll get there i think yeah I'm confident, but you know, I know so many things out of my control have to be in place in order to be successful in a series like IndyCar. Um, but yeah, I mean, you have to bring your 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 confidence, and you have to know that you're able to do it. Because if if you don't believe that, then you're gonna get nowhere. Yeah, I think definitely in myself, I'm way more confident uh, this time of the year. Uh, but it's also the time of the year when like everyone's waiting to see like where are we once we get on track. So. It's like a mix of everyone having a lot of self-confidence, but you still don't know what you can deliver. You know? It's very different depending on what, what situation you're in, whether you're in a championship, whether you're in a, in a race, in a qualifying, there's little bits of, of pressure that are very different during the year. 
So, I mean, there's no really way to, to deal with it. You just, you have to be used to it and it has to be a norm to you and it has to be normal for it to, for it to not really, uh, you know, get you out of sync into certain things, in my opinion. We all have to handle pressure, right? Uh, I, th I think personally, like a good thing for me is to just like hang out with the team and like my engineer. Uh, it's always like a little safe zone there from like all the craziness. And uh, I, I feel whenever I'm like there, you don't feel any different than like being here at the shop talking to your engineer. And uh, I always try to like use that little bubble to, to calm down a little bit if you're a bit stressed. I probably have to say signing with this team. Um, they are the ones that truly gave me a proper opportunity after uh, just, you know, tough times in 2019, not really knowing what I was going to, what's what was in store for my future. Um, and I think up, up to date, I've, I've, I've done a solid job. So uh, I look forward to continuing on that path. I think the biggest thing in my career uh, was probably becoming a Mercedes uh, junior uh, when I was like 19, 18, 19. Um, that really like helped me to establish my, you know, my name on the big scene and, and uh, just push through the ranks a bit easier. Good job, Pato. Now recharge and get back on it for 2023. Yeah, I guess, I guess you want to say to yourself that you did everything that you could. Uh, you, you put everything on the line, every, every lap, every corner of the season and uh, then where you end up, that's different, uh, different story. I think the season's going to be um, full of surprises and I think it's going to be a uh, great season for us as a team, uh, both on this side of, of the world and the other side. And just really looking forward to doing it with, with everybody here. I think it's a great group of people and um, yeah, just really want to give everybody lots of, uh, lots of reasons to celebrate this year. I think it's going to be a good year. I mean, I think you always say that, right? It's, it's kind of a cliche in a way, but uh, I truly believe that we have, you know, the tools, the, the people. Uh, I've honestly prepared as good as I can in the off season and learned a lot from last year. And I think a lot of us have. Um, we had a lot of success with Pado last year. And uh, I think this is the year to really just, you know, pull the group together and, 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 you know, really thrive as a team. That's it for now. And we'll check back in with everybody at the end of the season. And let's see if, uh, if we made some good stuff happen. Yeah, enjoy uh, all the fun races till then.